Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. As viewers may know, there will be at least three candidates running for two seats on the school committee this spring. Joanna Juvelis meets with incumbent Tara Donner and challengers Megan Moriarty and Jamal Sae, who tell her about why they are running. News Now will bring you continuing coverage of the Belmont elections between now and Election Day on April 6th. I decided to run for re-election because I feel very passionate about many different pieces of work that the school committee is doing. And I feel that we've made a lot of great progress in the last two and a half years, but some things are still happening that I just feel like I'm not ready to 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 leave. Um, in particular, I've been I'm very excited about the equity subcommittee and the work that is happening there that's really picking up steam. And I feel like we have a lot of work to do to make sure that as we get back to regular school, a full in-person school for kids, that we need to make sure that we are helping all the students to get back uh, to our pre-COVID levels of educational attention as, as best we can, and, and that's a big job. So I think the combination of my in-the-classroom work experience, my town meeting experience, um, my deep understanding of the budget constraints uh, that Belmont faces, and my school committee experience of the last few years is a combination of qualifications that will leave me very well prepared to hit the ground running without without a, a long adjustment period. So I've actually always wanted to run for school committee since uh, moving to Belmont. Um, it's one of the reasons why I immediately ran for PTA president. I wanted to get the experience of understanding a little bit better about how the schools in Belmont work. And I wanted to get to know people in the community, including some of the leaders of the schools. Uh, it's also why I ran for town meeting immediately because I wanted to get to know how other departments in the town operate and what some of the barriers or challenges are for Belmont as a community. I don't shy away from difficult conversations and asking hard questions. I think that's something that hasn't been happening enough on the school committee in the meetings that I've watched. For instance, last night when the budget was presented, there was a lot of focus again on the per pupil expenditure and we were shown a lot of data. We were compared to uh, other towns like ourselves. And the superintendent said that if, if one of the things that he would like to do would be to hire more full-time educators, both generalists, but also a big push for more special ed um, and guidance. So on one of the slides, one of the things that I really noticed is that he was presenting that we're in the bottom of expenditure on many different variables. But if you actually looked at our expenditure on administrators and maintenance and organization and upkeep of the schools, those were far above what we're actually spending right now on special ed guidance and full-time educators. So I guess one question I have is why aren't those more equitable across the board? Why are we spending so much more on administration and maintenance of our schools when actually what we really need are more full-time teachers and special educators? Uh, so these are just some hard questions that I think we need to ask and when we're shown data you really need to look at the nuances of the data and ask what story that's telling and i think that's something i could bring to the table most importantly i care about the um, the town i care about education in this town and so um, i've been critical of the school committee uh, decisions and process by which uh, the school committee has been making uh, decisions on critical issues for the belmont public schools uh, try to work from the outside by supporting the uh, various uh, proposals for opening schools, talking to school committee members, and decided the best way to do it is to be part of the solution by being part of the school committee. And so I'm going to give it a shot that way. I think there's been very little um, uh, vetting of assumptions in a lot of the a lot of the proposals, a lot of the questions that came to the school committee and fundamentally that's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis and that's what I'd like to do in these school committee meetings. I'd like to be able to be 
the voice of um, the critical voice that asks these critical questions. Maybe they might be uncomfortable, but they need to be asked. You can't talk about 21st century skills for, for children and not demonstrate that with our own leadership. And 21st century skills means that you are listening to your own biases and questioning the assumptions that you have and the assumptions that you have in front of you. And I think that is critical skill to have and that's a critical part of being a school community member.